this one. However, it uses something called mixed gain mode. Every other camera on the market, when it switches from high to low sensitivity, a green triangle shows up. Seek Fire Pro does not. Each pixel switches independently. You don't know when it switches, other than the outside edges of your picture will start to get darker if there's more heat. If you look at these two images, this is a firefighter on the right looking at the door of a burn building. This is relatively low heat conditions. You can see the heat around the door. You can see the propane tank we used to ignite the fire in the far left. As the heat increases, there's no triangle that shows up. But what do you notice about the picture on the left? What has changed? What is harder to see now in the picture on the left? The firefighter is harder to see. And what can you not see that's beside the firefighter also? The propane tank is harder to see. This is how you know the camera is seeing more heat when it focuses in on the heat source and the outside edges start to get darker. Just like when your pupil switches from dilated to constricted. This is how the camera performs in mixed gain mode. Cold is black, gray, white. You'll start to see color at 302 degrees. And the upper end, if you see purple, you're probably melting your nozzle or your face piece. Uh, we have these laminated in our tick guide as well. So this can help you remember what you see in the associated temperatures with it. But if you see orange or red, you're in a very, very bad place. I can, I can accept yellow and then fix it. But when we start getting orange and red, we're in really bad times. Now, what manufacturers do that I'm not a big fan of is they give us lots of options. When you go into a fire, do you have time to press buttons? Not typically. So these buttons are very difficult to operate with a gloved hand. So I'd recommend you set it the way you want to before you go in and leave it alone. Uh, fire mode is the first one on the left. Color or rainbow mode is not recommended for fire attack. I'll show you why here in a minute. Survey mode, however, has some definite benefits for you. If you're just using it for situational awareness and you're crawling around trying to find your way, Look how clear a picture of this situational awareness camera shows of a couch and a burn barrel. And I've tested all of the cameras on the market. And this one has the best picture for situational awareness out there. It's got an awkward orientation. You got to get used to holding like a dinner plate. You got to look down to look forward, which is difficult. But the picture clarity is pretty darn sharp. The colors associated with the hottest and coldest in the, re in the region. You've got black, gray, white is your colder and yellow on up is your hotter. You don't want to read the spot temperature. You want to pay attention to your overall environment. This is why you don't want to use color or rainbow palette. This is looking into a burn room. You think this is rather confusing? Anyone associate green with hot? Because just around the edges of the door frame is green. And just outside of that is blue. And I can tell you that is not cool. And they don't publish the temperature color correlation. They don't tell you what color means what. And if you read the instructions, it says, for demonstration purposes only. Matter of fact, if you study thermography, thermographers will tell you rainbow is the most frustrating color palette in the industry. It's usually designed to impress clients or specifically used for electrical inspections or these small electrical components where they got to get individual signatures and colors. So this is why you don't use rainbow in fire attack. This is the max firebox with flames rolling out of it, and the edges of the flames are green. And just outside of that is blue. No, not a big fan of that. However, survey mode shows colorization at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're outside looking, you're about to run in, you take a quick look, you're like, hmm, I got strong heat in the attic. If you had it in fire mode, you wouldn't see any color coming out that gate. You're doing smells and bells, Overhaul, all of that stuff is beneficial. This is an older house in Buchanan, West Virginia. Single pane glass, fire on the second floor. Look what the windows are doing. You're the person coming off the truck, getting the line by yourself. You're waiting on the company officer. Do you have an idea where you already are going? Yes, that's an acceptable use of that. Okay. This is the difference between survey mode and fire mode looking at the outside of a shipping container in West Metro, Colorado, Lakewood, Colorado area, where all the fires are going on right now. God bless them for what they're dealing with. Look at the difference of the picture on the left and the picture on the right. <laughs> That's all grayscale on the right. You won't see color till 300 degrees. Do you think there's some heat in the picture on the left? 
because it shows heat at 150 and that's heat coming through that metal door. Think about that. So the only disadvantage of colorization with the seat is when color shows up, it blocks out the detail behind it. Notice when that yellow shows up, you can't see anything through that. NFPA requires that all colorization be transparent or details be resolvable behind the color. This camera is especially beneficial in overhaul. You can use it for uh, hidden hot spots, especially with survey mode, and you can look for areas that could be missed. But remember, it's not x-ray vision. How many lath and plaster homes do y'all have up there? Older homes. No. Okay. You're not going to see through lath and plaster really well, especially if it's like my house. In the 1950s, you know what they mixed with the lath and plaster? Asbestos. It's a great insulator, not something you want to sand. So look at this drop ceiling. And this, this was a three alarm fire we had about a month and a half ago in a strip mall on the, on the left. When I went in to check conditions, the Seek Fire Pro showed me two yellow stripes in fire mode. When I turned it into survey mode, which starts highlighting at 150, and the max temperature range is 300, makes me think a little bit differently about cooling off the drop ceiling. Colorization makes a big difference in helping us identify things. When you pull up at a stoplight, it's not three shades of red. <laughs> red, yellow, green to get your attention. This is the same environment as we were looking from the outside in. Firefighters moving in, you can look past him and look into that drop ceiling area that's collapsed, and you can see all of those superheated areas. Makes a big difference. This is a uh, shipping container where we did a training, and the ignition officers going officers going in to light the fire. On the left is fire mode. On the right, survey mode. I can tell him there's more heat over his head than you think. The reason why this is important, ladies and gentlemen, is not every camera is going to show color at the same temperature. And you need to know when yours shows color 